Bill Ackman is this billionaire who's married to a woman from Israel. I didn't realize his wife was Israeli. And um, he's been very critical of those three university presidents and of DEI. Mm -hmm. He's one of those leftists, I think he's a lefty or a centrist at least, who's seen the light on DEI. So what happens? Business Insider does a hit piece on his wife, on his wife who was a tenured professor at MIT. And when she did her dissertation in 2010, mm -hmm. apparently there were a few examples in there where she didn't use quotation marks, though right at the end of the sentence, she did a citation. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like me quoting a Maureen quote. Right. And at the end of the sentence, I put Maureen Callahan, Daily Mail, but I didn't put the quotes right. around your words. Right. And they give him a very short turnaround time to respond to the business right. insider and so on. They dropped a hit piece. She plagiarized. Then Bill Ackman and his wife got back to them saying, we should have put quotation marks. She should have. And that's been corrected and moved up. Then the next headline admits she plagiarized. Right. And then came a third, where they're now looking back on years earlier in which she apparently used information from Wikipedia yeah. without citing Wikipedia. And she's saying, I just looked up defined terms like, like let's say 3D printing mm -hmm. and, and took the definition I found at Wikipedia. How is that plagiarism? Like, mm -hmm. since when do we cite Wikipedia as our, I'm just looking for common definitions of words that everybody uses. This is her defense. I haven't looked into any of this. But the point is, they're trying to ruin his wife. She's not involved in this in any way. Bill Ackman is just like a billionaire who got interested in this story and the fraud that was committed by Claudine and the anti-Semitism. Yeah. And now it's all in on people's families right. as fair game, according to Business Insider. What right, and she's, well, she's not the head of the top university in the world. Right, and she's no she's, longer at MIT. She's no longer at MIT. She hasn't been at MIT for years. Listen, it's not a great look. Yep. It's not. And people despise hypocrisy. I am among them. But I think, you know, Business Insider announced that they're going to conduct their, an investigation into how this story wound up there. Apparently, it had I'll been peddled them. around. MIT gave it to you. <laughs> it's obvious to those of us on the outside. There, I did your investigation for you. Thanks. So, you know, I don't. I really don't know what to make of it. You know, I think it feels petty. I think it feels vengeful. I think there is a segment of this country that is still so aggrieved by what happened to Claudine Gay, who, let's be clear, is keeping her professorship at Harvard, yeah, yeah. is hauling in $900,000 a year and will probably, despite her history of plagiarism, get a book deal. Yeah, oh, I'm And sure. go on the speaking circuit and have a very lucrative future. So I, I, so just, I have a couple thoughts on this. So Bill Ackman- Okay, he defended his wife because she was under attack. I think one defense is enough. And then I think you move on. Yeah. He's really doubling down on it and tripling down on it and quadrupling down on it. He's very defensive of her, which I, I appreciate as a mm -hmm. wife myself. I feel like you'd like to see a man defend his woman. However, they're trying to distract him. And to go too far down this lane is to take the bait. No one gives a shit about his wife. With all due respect to Bill Ackman and his wife. You're right. We don't care about her. You're right. She's not the president of a university. And he's getting distracted from the main, like, Focus on the main mission, which he's winning. And the same, Chris Rufo's more, he's like a dog with a bone. He's very tough to distract. But for the record, they did go after him too, because on his resume, I guess he says, which is posted publicly, that he went to Georgetown undergrad. He's another one who really pushed and did a great job out in Claudine Gay's plagiarism. Mm -hmm. He said he went to Georgetown underground and, and got his master's at Harvard. Well, it turns out he didn't really go to Harvard. He went to something called the Harvard Extension School which is, I guess you could just pay to get in. It's not like you have to be admitted like you or I would have to apply. Right. So it's not the same as Harvard. Right. Um, which was disclosed by Rufo in something I saw he posted online mm -hmm. before this, saying mm -hmm. it's far less difficult to get into than the real Harvard. Mm -hmm. But I guess if you go there, you're supposed to call it an ALM, not a master's. And he had called, okay, whatever. I don't care about any of these Harvard people, to be honest with you. <laughs> However, it's another attempt. Like the left is very good at what they do. And for three days, they've been driving the news with Bill Ackman's wife is also a plagiarist and Chris Rufo lied about going to Harvard. And everybody on X is like, yes, let's do this. This is the debate we've been dying to have, not about how fraud, how fraudulent our university leaders are and how the, half of them got there because of DEI. It's not that they're being fired because of their race. It's that they were hired because of it. 
100%. And Claudine Gay was given a much longer amount of time in that seat because of her race. They couldn't fire her immediately because she was a black woman. Yeah. That's what was going on. And nobody really wants to just say it. And I think that you're 100% right that Bill Ackman is sort of losing the thread here. He's doing really good stuff and that the left is sort of ginning this up. So what is the consequence? Claudine Gay was a consequential figure yeah. who needed a consequential action because it mattered. What does it matter what Bill Ackman's wife no is cares. doing? She's in private industry now. Right. She's she's a designer. She designs furniture. I, I, she's brilliant. She does it in some weird, cool way. But right, right, right. No one cares about her. And the other problem is, you know, the Bill Ackmans of the world have to think about this. No one wants to spend a lot of time defending a billionaire's wife who's incredibly beautiful, who dated Brad Pitt. That's mm -hmm. just the reality. Mm -hmm. Like that's one of those you defend once and then you move on because Madge sitting in Iowa, like she cares a little, she sees what the media is doing, but she does not want to spend five days on that woman and how aggrieved she is. So this is just the reality of life and humanity. And I really think conservative activists or new to the anti-DEI cause activists like Bill, and I certainly welcome him to the, to the fight, um, need to understand how this works. They'll never let up. You can rehabilitate your wife to the cows come home. They'll find another way to attack you, your company. Don't take the bait. Offense, forward. If it's really egregious, you spend maybe a day saying, that's bullshit. I love my wife. Stay away from her. There's no point in getting distracted because the left is experienced and expert at what it does in destroying people. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. The Megyn Kelly Show is supported by Grand Canyon University. Founded in 1949, GCU is a private Christian university that is dedicated to delivering an affordable and transformative higher ed. Their vibrant campus is located in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. And according to niche.com, it's ranked a top 25 best campus in the country. As of June 2023, GCU offers 330 academic programs with over 270 of them online, allowing you the freedom to earn your degree on your time from wherever you are. At GCU, your degree, whether it's a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, integrates the free market system and a welcoming Christian worldview. Learn more about GCU's programs, competitive tuition rates, and scholarship offers from your own university counselor. They are part of the supportive graduation team that's gonna take a personalized approach to helping you achieve your academic goals, walking alongside you every step of the way. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. For more information or to enroll, visit gcu.edu. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.